here come back at you again today um hopefully you guys can hear me hopefully my mic is working right at least that's what uh, we'll see uh let me know if you can hear me so huh sweetheart can you hear me okay do i sound clear yeah what's up blood royal morse what's up becky uh, hopefully it's not too glitchy. Um, anyway, what I want to talk about is finally the world's first pied boa came out. Let me see if I can't show you guys a picture of it. There it is. Caught you this time. Yeah, you did. What's up, Reese's? I just wanted to share this with everybody. The world's first pied boa. Uh, what's up, Tattoo Highway? Uh, um gary yeah and and here it is on facebook um the picture um just so you guys know i'm gonna read it so i'm gonna look down so if i'm not looking at you that's why uh very i agree with you tnt mind-blowing it says the new world's first and only pie boa owned by luis carbella it's a su it's suspected a mexican dwarf boa from tangeri maria island um, well respected breeders United States, Luis has confirmed it's a male. It was confirmed as well by uh, respected breeders United States is truly a pied boa. It's not from the Sonoran region. Hopefully, Luis plans to prove him out within a year or two along with his offsprings. Hopefully, more pied boas can be produced and we will have a great opportunity to see them in the States. Thank you to everyone for giving the information and answering all my questions about this unique and one-of-a-kind rare um, pie bell mail. So, yeah, I agree with you. Andy, Andy, tell Andy I said I agree. That is badass. This is, I mean, this is exciting. What's up, David Moore? Hey, brother, I'm just showing everybody um, the the world's first pie ball boa. It's from the Tanzer Maurice Island. Um, so it's a, um, a suspected Mexican dwarf boa, which is very cool. Um, yeah, it's definitely a game changer. I mean, this reminds me, um, every game changers that pop up I and mean, you see it all the time in, in ball pythons and in corn snakes and then stuff. Uh, this is not one. Hey, text Andy that picture so he can see. It. I will. I definitely will. Um, right now, I'm using my phone to go live, so I will when I'm done. Um, the cool thing about it is there are siblings with this. So he ha he got out of a clut a clutch. I agree. <laughs> I agree, Corey. Very first incredible things to come. Yeah, because I mean, in in the ball python world, you and corns and and other snakes. Um. I think it's a hybridizing BCC and BCI hybridizing. And IMG, I, the possibilities with it are, you talk about game changers. Like I said, in corn snakes, there's all these new things that come out. King snakes, uh, ball pythons are constantly stuff. I like uh, the magnum and definitely a dream saying of mine. You talk, I mean, there's game changers, changer, the sharp albino, the VPIs. You know, the hypos, the jungles, the motleys, the IMGs, um, you know, there's there's those. And then obviously, you know, you got the uh, fire, which are the leucistics, which was a huge game changer because there hadn't been that much in boas in a while new. And now you've got this possibility. So it's a huge game changer in the bow game. There's just going to be if it proves out, there's just going to be so much at this pied boa can do i mean just the 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 stuff you can do is just going to be absolutely incredible and so it's definitely exciting it's exciting times because i mean i mean honestly there hasn't been other than the last thing that came out you know the fire uh what's up munson the fire boa i mean there really hasn't been too much in the way of bows as far as new genetics other than stuff that we're already working with when it comes to like you know your sun dragons and stuff like that which is and your blood pythons um so having a pied boa is going to be crazy so much happened so fast as we yeah it's crazy i mean you had justin kabulka which was smart on his part to release the magnum even though he's had it for a while and he's he's produced you know the the banana 
uh, Magnum and Clown Magnums, which tells you his Magnum collection is huge. Um, you know, he was smart to release that before Tinley because I'll tell you what, right now, Red Stripes are going to be selling like hotcakes. If you want to get in that Magnum project without paying big, big money, still had a handful of untapped projects. Yeah. I mean, if you want to get in that mag project right now, I would suggest buying red stripes right now because the price of those are going to just jump. Um, you know, I mean, it's absolutely incredible, you know, when stuff like this happens in a pied boa. I mean, let's just hope it's genetic. Let's hope it, it's not a chimera. You know, that is always the fear. Um, there are sibs to it, but that's the only one. So we just got to hope it's not a, a chimera or something like that. Um, because there are things like calico bows out there um, that have been produced. And people were saying, oh, and I'm not talking about the Paradox albinos. I'm talking about, um, I think it was a bow basement. came out with these things called calico bows. And he sold some babies to people for big money. And they weren't proven out. And then all of a sudden people were ticked off because guess what? It, it was just a Paradox. I've seen so many buying red stripes yesterday. It was like Black Friday sale. Yeah. I mean, that's what's crazy. When something new comes out, everybody jumps on the bandwagon, which is also why, you know, if you guys have seen me doing some of my BOA videos and stuff lately, um, the one thing that you notice is I have all hit VPIs. Uh, why did I do that? I could I bought a VPI, so I could have. I didn't want to spend the money on it when I knew everybody and their brother would have it, so I might as well just buy hits and take my time and do what I want to do. So, you know, what's up, Jane? Glad you joined. Um, I'm sitting here talking about the Pied Boa. It's just a game changer. Um, I think another game changer Boa, you know, that, that came out um, – a while back ago was obviously the IMGs. I mean, that, that was a huge game changer. I mean, when you think about the IMG as a game changer, I mean, that's just something that, you know, when that came on the market, exploded. So, and that's genetic. So if this proves recessive, which um, it probably is going to be recessive, probably isn't going to be co-dominant. Um, so I know a lot of, you know, so he's got the sibs, so hopefully you can pair them up together and we'll know right away with the first breeding if it's genetic or not, um, or if it's recessive or co-dominant. Um, if it's recessive and he breeds it to the sibs, you know, we know at least there's a good chance it's recessive, but he'll have to breed that male to a, a non-hit or non-possible hit to see if it's fully recessive or co-dominant. And... It, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, there's just, you just don't see this happen in the bow world very often. Not when something like this happens. I mean, it just happened to pop out of his clutch. That's just how it goes. I mean, you just don't know what's going to go on in, in the snake game. I mean, that's what I'm saying. You know, everyone says, you know, ball python market's dying, bow market's dying, carpet market's dying. Everyone always says that the market's dying, right? Everyone's like, oh. But then all of a sudden something interesting pops up and everybody freaks out and all of a sudden no one's talking about the market dying. All of a sudden everyone's talking about let's get this and let's get that. That's why you, when you hear people talk about a market dying, don't, don't, don't play into that. The market is strong. Um, so yeah, big big props to Luis for doing it, and it's and like I said, it's been confirmed by some very reputable boa breeders, so it's legit. It's not some Photoshop thing. Like there was um talking about Photoshop things, there was a thing called uh, the Black Panther Carpet Python that had circulated around for a while, um, and it was an all black carpet python. Turns out it was just Photoshop, and some people fell for it. Some people recognized it right away, like this isn't legit. You know, so when something new pops up, people like to confirm it and quality animals will always sell. That's right. That's right, brother. Quality animals always sell. So the good thing is that this has been confirmed by legit breeders, like real breeders, big time breeders. So we know that this is for real. This ain't no joke. You know, now it's just figuring out the genetics. You know, another uh a big game changer that came out a few years ago was the Sterling Bow. It's it's basically like the fire gene as far as patternless almost, but it's got color. Like it they got they they pop in color. So it's exciting. 
you know, so this is definitely something to be excited about. You know, for all you guys going up to Tinley, I hope you guys have a great and fun time. Um, you know, I want to go, but my anxiety, um, I'm getting there, but there's no way I could go on a long trip like that. Um, not yet. You know, I've had lots of offers of people saying, hey, I'll pick you up or hey, you know, but I'm just not there yet. I'm getting there. Um, I I'm definitely way better than what I was, but when it comes to my anxiety, I'm just not ready to go up to that long of a drive. And then also I'm not ready to be around that many people, you know, so I have to definitely, you know, I'm getting there. Hopefully by October, I'll be, you know, able to do it. You know, I just have to really, you know, get my mind right and, and just bunker down and do it. I just got to do little things. Um, you know, start taking a little bit shorter trips, you know, like going to Peoria, which is only like a half hour away from me. Like they got the best pro shop in East Peoria, um, stuff like that. So, you know, once I start building myself up, thank you, brother. I appreciate it, blood, blood world. I'll definitely keep smiling. Um, once I do that, you know, and I start building myself up because it's about confidence, you know, when you, you know, and I know I'm going in another topic here, guys. Um, but, you know, when when you go through it, like when you set up Frank anxiety attacks like I do, it's all about, you know, confidence. And when you hit a low, like I hit that low and I went low, you know, now <clears throat> I have to build that confidence back up for me. And so that's what I'm doing now. So hopefully by October, I'll be ready to go to Tinley and get to meet everybody. Land of Lincoln Exotics. I live down in Springfield. Yeah, I've been to Springfield lots of times. I got uh, my German Shepherd Slash um, from Middletown um, or Middleton or Middletown. I think that's what it's called. That's where I got my German Shepherd. Um, so I've been down to Springfield. Springfield's a, a, a great place. Um, I had to take my when I was uh, when I worked for the city when I was at the Parks Department before I because I went back to the public works. I, I got my chemical license. So I'll take my chemical license. Um, but yeah, you know, so I'm definitely getting better, you know, every day, you know, I'm getting a little bit better. I'm definitely, you know, on my way to being back to me. I'm, you know, back to doing a lot of things I used to do. Um, but I just had to get this video out and tell you guys the exciting news about the Pied Boa. This is just, this is incredible. And I, and I guarantee if you wanted to buy that thing, I don't think you'd sell it, but you'd have to have like a million dollars because, uh, the, um, Oh, David, what's the name of that one bow we're always talking about? I can't think of the name of it for some reason right now. I'm brain farting. But they're still going for like, uh, what's up? Uh, that's cool pie. Yeah, it really is, Bill. Um, but uh, there's that one bow, and I don't know why I can't think of the name of it. I, I know that name because I've wanted one. The Sakura. Yeah, the Sakura bow. Sorry, guys. Not the Black Devil. I love the Black Devil. Uh, Black Eyed and Reed, and those things are awesome. But the score bow, thank you. Um, that's another game changer. But you talk about that's a co-dominant bow. And very few people are working with them. I know a guy up in Canada is working with them, and a few people here in the United States are working with them. And if you want a female, you're talking, I think it's like like fourteen to $17,000. Uh, either the male 17000 I think the male is seventeen thousand, and the females are fourteen thousand dollars, and those have been around for twelve years or so. So, I mean, that's a huge game changer too. And that bow, and that bow is still because it hasn't got mainstream yet. What's up, holders? Uh, hope you're having a good day. Um, so, there's definitely some game changer bows out there. So. I mean, don't sleep on on anything. Don't let anybody tell you that the market isn't strong. Uh, -uh. I mean, you, you look at all the up and coming kids, all the stuff that's coming out. Yeah, right now a male is fourteen thousand and nineteen thousand for one point one. So if you want a pair of corbos, it's nineteen thousand dollars. Yeah, I saw that and I was just like, ooh, that's another dream bow of mine. So there's definitely some game changer bows out there still. You know, it's just, and the good thing about this court is it is co-dominant. So as more people continue to work with them on the United States, they'll become more affordable. Um, it'll, it'll de It's definitely exciting. So there's definitely some exciting stuff going on in the ball python world. There's definitely some exciting stuff going on in the bow world with that pied. 
Um, the other thing is, you know, and you guys have heard me talk about the exciting thing for carpets is we got hypos. <clears throat> True hypo carpets now. You know, obviously, you know, they were brought in, but um, at least we got them. So that's another big game changer because you're going to be starting to see a lot of interesting hypo combinations. Uh, Star Pythons posted a cool picture day, and it was a caramel hypo. In other words, he bred a caramel boa, I mean, a caramel carpet and a hypo carpet together. And that was that's a real interesting looking carpet. You got the red line albinos, you got the stripe line albinos. I mean, there's just a bunch of exciting stuff happening in all sorts of species of snakes. So the boat that we are in brought in. Yeah, the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the boat that brought them in. Yeah. Um, they just popped up in a magical clutch. Um, but uh, you know, so there's there's definitely some exciting things going on in the snake world. I mean so it, it's it's definitely fun times right now. Um, so I just wanted to get that out, share that information with you guys. The the the, the, the scenic route, the scenic route brought in on a bunch of bananas exactly. Um, so I just wanted to get that information out to you guys about the the pie boa. I just had to get it out there so that way you guys know about it. Becky and I are friends with Jeff, the man that produced the very first Sikorbo. Yeah, I know, I know who he is. He's a great guy. You know, uh, Ralph, uh, not Ralph Davis, um, uh, Richard got a hold of him too. And then, yeah, so, um, you know, I just want to get that out there for you guys. I want to share that with you guys. I just want to get that news out there so that way you guys – are up to date on what's going on in the bow world because this is exciting. And real quick, there's my Blue Point Siamese. She's just watching the birds. So I thought I'd share her since she's in here with me. So that's all I got to say today. I just wanted to share that with you guys and get this exciting information out there. This is just, I'm pumped. And just so you guys know, once again, there it is. There it is. Is that not epic? I'm sitting here down in Marion dying to head to Tinley. Yeah, have fun at Tinley, guys. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I just get that news out there for you guys so that way you guys know what was going on. So thank you so much for watching this live stream. I appreciate everybody that's going to participate. I appreciate everybody that is going to um, watch this later on. And whenever you get a time, so, you know, please like, click, share, and subscribe. Leave any questions or comments you got down below. Like I always say, have a blessed and positive day because you guys know I am. You know, so, Ed and everybody have fun at Tinley. You guys have a blessed day. Uh, I'll talk to you later, Bill. Talk to you later, DA. Peace, David. Peace. Later, homie. I'll talk to you later, Tattoo Highway. You guys have a great day. Peace.